there's never been a time until maybe college if you're on a certain more financial path. Track, yeah. You know what I mean? But there's never been a time in, in really in high school, in junior high school or in elementary where you where you talk about money, where you talk about finances, about how to balance even a checkbook. There's I not know. even a thing about how to balance a checkbook. Who teaches you how to balance a checkbook? No one. You know? And so I think that it's actually something that is not encouraged in our culture, you know, to be intelligent about fi your finances and knowledgeable about it. At the same time, we're constantly shown and beaten into our head about what we think we want to get, which is usually way out of our means. Yep. You know, and so it's like this twisted world that we kind of live in and have to figure out how to then navigate. So. I can't say anybody really taught me how to do these things. This was definitely trial and error yeah. that I think taught me the most. But I think one thing did teach me or kept me kind of balanced, which was knowing what it's like to have nothing and be, you know, just just, you know, struggling to try to pull this together with that and try to rob Peter to pay Paul, as my mother used to always say, and, you know, just trying to figure out how to, like, borrow from here to get to that so you can get to that. Always made me feel like I just wanted to be really cautious with mm. my money when I started to receive it and understand it. I didn't abuse it. Like, I didn't just want to throw it out. Now I have it, so let me spend it, spend it, spend it. I was also always really just like, you know what, I really want to save and I really want to, save. you know, it's kind of like this thought of this constant rainy day that I've had in the back of my mind.